And as the holiday season comes to a close, leaders here in New York are working to combat COVID-19 and rolling out a new plan to make testing kits available across the Empire State. As previously predicted by Governor Kathy Hochul, cases are on the rise due to the winter surge. Our Julia Grass has more on how the state plans to respond to these numbers. So we're continuing to work on our, our winter surge plan, making more testing available, and reminding everyone we have ordered and have, uh, are starting to receive 37 million testing kits, which are critically important to make sure that people can ensure they're safe before they gather with individuals or go to their jobs. So the surge is extended all throughout the Northeast. In Western New York, the seven day average per 100,000 cases was almost 69. Additionally, there were 363 hospitalizations in Western New York over December 25th and the 26th. We've taken major action to increase bed capacity and also protect critical services during as part of our winter surge plan. And it's been working right now. We required hospitals to scale up their capacity. This was not done this week or even last week. This was talked about at the end of October and through November. So we did pause uh, non-essential elective surgeries in hospitals with limited capacity, which we defined as having 10% or less uh, capacity at the time. The state also expanded the eligible health care force, allowed more health care workers to administer vaccines, deployed the National Guard to nursing homes, and is working with hospitals to deploy staff to the most critical areas. Governor Kathy Hochul also praised the hospitals on increasing bed capacity, as there has been an 8% increase statewide. She says she is speaking with President Biden on how the federal government can help combat the winter surge. We'd observed an uptick in pediatric admissions. Uh, concentrated in the New York City area, where there was an increase of about fourfold. Uh, in those data reported on Friday, uh, among the children who are aged 5 to 11, uh, none had been vaccinated. Health Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett discussed concerns over pediatric cases. Many people thought, uh, continue to think that children don't become infected with COVID. This is not true. Children become infected and some will be hospitalized. Dr. Bassett also noted the changes in the state's isolation rules for vaccinated workers, saying they can return to work masked after 72 hours of having no fever and only mild symptoms. Additionally, she encouraged nursing home residents to get their booster shots, as data shows that two-thirds of all COVID deaths have been those aged 65 and above. Julia Grass, WNY News Now. Julia, thank you. The state is also working to make sure children can stay in school, reporting that 3 million tests will be sent out this week.